Happy Earth Day, fellow explorers. This is Tony with Fount Systems Network, and we are here in pursuit of low-carbon innovations for seawater desalination. It's a pretty special episode today. It is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and I'll be presenting our value proposition for the Fount Systems project. The, uh, a lot of work has gone into uh, the, the value proposition, both in terms of background research, but then doing the work and crafting the statement itself. So I've got it really focused and I'm pretty happy with where it's at. If you're new to Fount Systems Network, I'm gonna post a link above and you'll be able to see the work plan to see where we are in the process. We are still pretty early in the process, but if you like what you see, you're interested in the Fount Systems pursuit, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. Our value proposition. I'm going to present the value proposition here. It's very focused, uh, as a value proposition should be. This will be a placeholder for our business plan. And uh, value proposition, you probably already know, needs to be a very succinct statement of why the business exists, what its relevance is, and how it makes money. So I've got three sentences here. I'll present them to you right now, and then I'll issue some commentary uh, from there. Fount Systems will sell, engineer, install, and operate proprietary low-carbon technologies and subsystems in existing desalination utilities around the world. Our products and services will enable our clients to integrate renewable energy into their existing operations and integrate their businesses into emerging markets for carbon pricing. We will help our clients reduce their overhead, increase net profits, and extend the investment return period of their facilities. So a few comments on the business plan. You might be wondering, what is the product? What is the service? And the answer is specifically right now, I don't know. So that's going to be part of our Fount Systems pursuit. I've, drifted, I've drafted this generic value proposition as a placeholder for our business plan, but, would, but which should also offer some guidance for our work as it unfolds. So I would expect as we get further along, various specific aspects of the value proposition will get nailed down around specific technologies and specific services. Now you might be wondering why the focus on service? The short answer is that water utilities are a service. It may not seem like it at first. There's no one standing there and waiting on you. But every time you turn on the faucet or turn on the light switch, you have um, resource there that helps you carry out something you need to achieve in your day-to-day -day life. In, in the case of water utilities, it helps you water your garden, uh, get a glass of water so you can hydrate yourself, wash your car. It's there to help you carry on the normal things you need to do in your life. So the focus on service enables water utilities to better provide their service. So if we are providing something of value to a seawater desalination facility, it's going to help them provide value to their customers. Uh, the final thing I would say about the, um, the value proposition has to do with this um, kind of rhetoric around intermittent energy. And one of the critiques of renewable energy, whether it's solar or wind, are that the sun doesn't shine all the time and the wind does not blow all the time. And so because they're intermittent sources, uh, people are making the case that fossil fuel energy is what is going to establish the baseline uh, for various uses. Now, I would suggest here that uh, we could also look at it as baseline expenses. Um, what if fossil fuel energy becomes an intermittent expense in the overhead model of a business? It's not hard to imagine here, Earth Day 2020, I'm finding great irony in the fact that the oil markets internationally are upside down right now. Oil producers are paying depots to take and store their oil because there's so little demand for it. So that might sound appealing from a business model if your expenses suddenly just plummet. And um, yeah, the case could be made if they stayed that way, that it would be appealing. But what happens four months from now when things return to normal and we see a disconnect again between supply and demand and you get prices spiking. It's very hard to conduct business. It's very hard to make management decisions about overhead 
uh, in an environment like that. So I would suggest here on Earth Day 2020 that renewable energy can be viewed as baseline expenses in a, in a business model that can be much more consistent than fossil fuel derived expenses. So I could go on, there are probably more things that could be said about the value proposition, but we'll let it be for now. What are your thoughts? Please comment below. I would like to hear what you have to say about the value proposition I've put together. Uh, if I get any thoughtful comments, I'll be glad to respond. Um, the next episodes are gonna be getting into specifics of seawater desalination. I've got a couple good useful resources for us to dig into there. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Fount Systems Network. And remember, today, tomorrow, and thereafter, keep exploring, keep growing. I'll see you next time.